Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss about essential newborn care. So, before entering inside the topic, till now those who didn't subscribe to my channel, kindly do share, like, comment and subscribe. Welcome to my channel, Angels Nursing Decodes. Now, let's go inside the topic. Essential newborn care. So from the name itself, it's very clear that giving care to the newborn. It means during the birth of the newborn, what all the care we have to give to the newborn. Essential care of normal healthy neonates can be best provided by the mothers under supervision of nursing personnel or basic primary health care providers. About 80% of the newborn babies should be kept with their mothers rather than in a separate nursery. First we can see the definition of healthy infant. So a healthy infant must be a term baby between 38 to 42 weeks and they should have average birth weight that is 2.5 kg to 3.5 kg. And the third characteristic is they have to cry immediately after birth. Next, they should establish independent rhythmic respiration and they have to adapt quickly to the new environment. Immediate basic care. First is maintenance of body temperature. Second is establishment of open airway and circulation. Third is identification of newborn. Fourth is vitamin K injection. Fifth is initiation of breastfeeding. Now we can see in detail. Maintenance of temperature. How we can maintain the temperature of the newborn? So you all know that immediately after the birth, we used to dry the baby, clean the baby. Next, we will be keeping the baby in radiant warmer. So the temperature maintained with radiant warmer is between 35.5 degrees centigrade to 36.5 degrees centigrade. The second thing is skin to skin contact with the mother. We have to keep the baby nearby the mother so that the mother's warmness will be reached to the baby and the baby will be comfortable. Next, the neonate's head should be covered properly. And the fourth thing is rooming it. That is, we should not separate the baby from the mother. Next, establishment of open airway. Immediately after the birth, all the secretions should be removed by using bulb sucker. And we have to clean the face, mouth and nose etc. Okay, if more secretions are there means it should be properly cleared and pattern airway should be maintained. So why it's necessary? Because in some cases the baby will be passing feces in the itself that is meconium so if the meconium enters in the respiratory tract there may be chances of meconium aspiration syndrome so to prevent that we have to clean the respiratory tract and second thing the cough and sneeze because all the fluids it will be entering inside and there may be chances of aspiration so we have to clean the airway of the new Next, Apgar scoring. So it can be checked at 1 minute and 5 minutes. So let's see about Apgar in detail. A stands for appearance. P stands for pulse. G stands for grimace. A stands for activity. R stands for respiration. So here it is classified under 3 categories. So for First, they are giving 0 points, second, 1 point, and third category, 2 points. So, in appearance, if the baby looks blue or pale in color, means 0 points is creditor. And if the baby's body is pink and if the baby is having blue extremities, then 1 point is given. Next, if the baby's body is throatly pink, then we can give 2 points. Next, P for pulse. If it is absent, 0 points. And if the pulse rate it is below 100 B 
beats per minute means one point. If it is more than hundred beats per minute, we can give two points. Next is grimace. If it's flop, floppy means we have to give zero point. If the baby is having minimal response to stimulation, we can give one point. And prompt response to stimulation means two point. And next is activity. If the baby is dull and absence of activity, we can give zero point. And flex arms and legs, we can give one point. And if the child is active, we can give two points. Next, R stands for respiration. If it is absent, zero point. And if the respiratory rate is slow and irregular, we can give one point. And if the baby is having vigorous cry, we can give two points. So now we can see the scoring. Total score is 10. And if the baby scores 7 to 10, then it is no depression. And if the baby scores 4 to 6, it comes under mild depression. And 0 to 3 ends leads to severe depression. Next is newborn identification. So newborn identification is very important because in hospital number of childs will be there without identification band we can't identify whose baby is that okay so we have to provide identification band which ca carries the ip number the name of the mother then sex of the baby etc and it should be tied either in the wrist or angle of the baby next is vitamin k Vitamin K prevents neonatal hemorrhage during first few days of the life before infant is able to produce vitamin K administration. If it is term infants, 1 mg IM we can give and if it is preterm infants, 0.5 mg IM is administered. And the alternative route is oral dose. If it is oral route, 2 mg orally at birth. Then repeated dose of 2 mg at 3 to 5 days and 2 mg at 4 to 6 weeks of age. Next, initiation of breastfeeding. If it is normal vaginal delivery, breastfeeding should be initiated within half an hour of birth. And if it is cesarean section, within 2 hours breastfeeding should be initiated. Next, daily routine care of neonates. The majority of complication of the normal newborn may occur during first 24 hours or within 7 days. So close observation and daily essential routine care is important for health and survival of the newborn baby. So the daily routine care of the neonates are warmth, breastfeeding, skin care, umbilical cord care, care of the eyes, clothing of the baby, general care, observation, taking anthropometric measurements, immunization, follow-up and advice. So first is warmth. How we can provide warmth to the child? The first thing is mummifying. Wrapping the baby with adequate clothing in two layers and the head and extremities should be well covered. And the baby should be kept nearby the mother. Next is breastfeeding. As I have told earlier, if it's normal vaginal delivery, we have to initiate within half an hour and if it is cesarean section, within two hours breastfeeding should be initiated. Next, skin care. So, skin care is very important among newborn. So, if the baby is term baby and if the baby can tolerate the temperature, we can go for first part. And sometimes, if the baby is preterm and if having difficult to tolerate the term temperature we have to delay the bathing next collection of cord blood cord blood should be collected and sent to the laboratory for analyzing the rh blood type hematocrit and possible cord blood gases next cord care cord stump clean cleaning and it should be kept dry and apply topical antiseptics to prevent any infections. Next care of eyes. Using sterile cotton swab soaked in sterile water or normal saline, the baby's eyes should be cleaned from the inner canthus to outer canthus and the eyes should be observed for redness, stickiness, discharge and excessive tearing. 
clothing of the baby the cloth should be in cotton and it should be loose soft etc and large button synthetic frock and plastic nylon napkin should be avoided general care the newborn should, baby should be kept with the mother for continuous monitoring in hospital that is known as bedding in or in home rooming in in a well ventilated room baby should be handled with general gentle approach after proper hand washing no infected person should be take care or touch the baby baby should be allowed to sleep in supine position which can prevent sudden infant death syndrome general cleanliness should be maintained and surrounding should be kept clean wet nappies should be changed immediately mother should be taught about art of mothering tender loving care should always to be maintained and available for the baby next is immunization for newborns at birth bcg vaccine oral polio vaccine and hepatitis b vac- vaccine should be administered and the other two doses in first month and six months of age follow up at and advice each infant should be followed up at least once every month for first three months and subsequently three months interval till one year of age next we are going to see about warm chain it's very important because in this warm chain 10 points we are going to see the first one is warm delivery room the temperature maintained in delivery room is 25 degree centigrade so we have to maintain a warm delivery room before the labor process second is warm resuscitation third immediate drying fourth skin to skin contact fifth is breastfeeding sixth postponed bathing and weighing seven delayed bathing appropriate clothing ninth mother and baby together 10 warm transportation 11 this kmc that is kangaroo mother care i hope you all understood this session hope you enjoyed it if you have any doubts you can put your questions in your comment session so thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel thank you